First of all, thank you to everybody that has watched the enhanced input video. I don't know what it was, but it went completely nuts. So, I have some feedback from this video regarding enhanced input. And one question in particular that stood out was, how to get which key you pressed. Okay, so we have our basic movement here. And as you can see, there is no pin for the key being pressed, like this one up here. If you're using enhanced input and you want the key output, there's a few extra steps you have to take, but it is possible. So create a new function. I'm calling it get action pressed keys. Uh, start with adding an input, call it action, and set the type to input action. That'll be here. Then you can right click and sorry, query keys mapped to action. That's what it's called. Then plug in action to the action. And the target will be the subsystem for, uh, for enhanced input. Which means we have to get controller. And then cast to player controller. Make that a pure cast. And then from here we can get the enhanced input local player subsystem. Throw that in there. Okay, so let's say we have movement action here. Just as an example. So we would plug this in here. So we have the movement action going into our function. And we're gathering all the keys that are bound to movement. But as I just said, that gets all of them. So we'll have to filter the ones being pressed. So for each loop, and then from there we check each one. Okay, that's it. Is input key down? So we'll just go branch. Now the next step depends on how you want this function to operate. For me, I want it to return the entire array of all the pressed keys if there happens to be two or more. If you know for sure that there will only be one key pressed at a time, you could, after true, just return at a return node and you could just plug in from the for each loop so on the one that is being pressed you can just return that but since I want to return all of them I will add a local variable down here so that's where it would be I already have it pressed keys and add unique. So we'll first start by adding each of the pressed keys from this action to an array. We'll throw that in there. So if it's pressed, it gets added to our list of pressed keys. And that's it. Once that's done, On completed, we return the pressed keys. And I'll rename that just the keys. Gotta plug this into player controller, of course. And just to make sure this is working, I'll get the display name of the key. 
and then print string. Okay, so let's actually plug this in now. So on triggered, So since we have the print string already in there, it should work just like that. W D A S. W S A D. So yeah, that's it. And then you can do whatever you want with that. You'll have all the keys here. So you could see if the key being pressed is from a controller or a keyboard, or if it's a mouse button, uh, hook it up to a for each loop or, you know, whatever, whatever you're looking to do with it. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this one. I hope it helped. Let me know what else you would like to see, and I'll see you in the next one.